Yo, eat 5,000 calories, right? And still get shredded. Listen, I can show you how to do this. Now, pretty much, I had to get you in. I had to bring you in to my world so I can give you the details. When it comes to eating 5,000 calories or eating any type of surplus, especially while you're on a cut, the approach and the gift and the value that I'm about to give you can really help you either rebound or pretty much get back on track a lot more sooner, okay? Listen, salute to YouTube, salute to all of y'all, my YouTube fam, my superhumans. Y'all already know who it is, man, it's Black Superman coming at y'all with another powerful video. And I'm gonna give you the gems and the tips on how to recover after, say, a, like you binge ate. Say for the weekend, you was with your people, your friends, your family, and you know, you just kind of went off track with your diet. You kind of ate what you wanna eat, pizza, wings, Philly cheese steak, you know, stuff like that. You kind of just went in. Well, the way that you can really rebound that, right? For one, it's gonna take a little more work than normal, okay? A little bit more than what you're already doing in say your cut or your fat loss phase, all right? What you're gonna wanna do is, say you say for the weekend you smashed and you ate like that, so Saturday, Sunday, right? Well, when Monday come around, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna get back on your normal diet for Monday, right? And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna train, so lift, lift weights, do your normal workout and your workout plan. And then, you wanna do cardio, post-cardio after you lift weights. Now, the reason why post-cardio is very powerful for this is because after you've lifted weights, after you've trained and lifted weights, your glucose levels, your glucose stores, should be somewhat low. And glucose obviously comes from, you know, sugar, carbs, you know. That's our energy. That's our the energy source that we get from carbohydrates, right? So, after you've lifted weights and you've trained and you've pushed your muscles, uh, to a degree where your, your glucose levels are kind of low, then you want to go ahead and hit, hit cardio right after. This can have a great effect on obviously lowering body fat and, and utilizing fat stores for energy, all right? Boom, so post cardio is gonna be the first thing you want to do. Then what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to do another cardio session after the fact, later on that day. Now, I highly recommend that the cardio that you do it's gonna be more like a, a intermittent, not intermittent, but more like a circuit or like an interval. I highly recommend you do an interval. Why? Because this is just gonna tap into your fat stores in, in different ways, but it's also gonna utilize, uh, you know, carbohydrate. You know, it's gonna, it's gonna take more glucose when you start doing this interval that I'm gonna tell you and talk to you about. I recommend that you do this for both cardio sessions, post weightlifting and later on that day or night or whenever you want to do that that uh that second session or that third workout for the day but what you're going to want to do is is get on the treadmill and you're going to want to do in different intervals of say walking for like 3.5 miles per hour 3.2 miles per hour wh wh whichever walking is decent for you a decent pace and then you're going to want to bump it up to like say 6.5 after i don't know 30 30 uh seconds or a minute you see what I'm saying? So a minute at a time, you want to be switching from 3.5 to 6.5. And go ahead and do that jog. And then on the second one, when you go after you walk for 3.5, you're going to want to switch it to about like 7.5. A more faster paced run or jog. And then take it back to the walking. Do this type of interval, man. It's going to be very powerful uh, in helping you burn calories. Um, and it's just good, man. It's just a good uh, form of cardio, I think. To each his own. Everybody got their own that they like and prefer. But look, try this out, okay? The reason why I say that this could potentially work for you is because I've done it with other clients. I've done it with myself. And, you know, it may really, really work well for you. I actually did it this weekend. So uh, I ended up going out of town with my family. And during the weekend, I ate, man. I ate, like I said, pizza, Philly cheese steak, uh, fries. We went to, I can't remember where we got breakfast from, but... We, I ate, man. I ate a good amount of food. I ate a great amount of food, okay? And it was a lot of bullshit. Uh, so when I left, I was 255.8 pounds on that Saturday morning, right? 
I didn't even check my weight. And I highly suggest that y'all don't either. Don't check your weight. Don't look at the scale during the weekend. Like, don't even look at it. Matter of fact, don't even look at the scale until that following morning after you do what I'm telling you to do right now. Well, the reason why I say that is because it's probably going to be something mad high. And you don't want that to even mess with your psyche or nothing. Don't even pay that no attention, all right? But I started off at 255.8 on that day, right? And then after that day, I mean, not, not after that day. Eight did what I did all throughout the weekend. And then I did what I'm telling y'all to do, right? The next morning, I got up, I weighed 255.8. Literally, my weight was back to where it was on that Saturday morning, okay? And that was a, that was a Tuesday morning. So guys, try it out. Let me know what y'all think. Um, I, another thing too, I don't, this is not something for you to like abuse and do all the time, okay? This is just on those moments where say you just fall into temptation or say you, uh, you know, kind of mess up over the weekend or just want to enjoy yourself over the weekend. You know, do not try to make this an every week thing, you know? Try your best to stick to your diet, okay? Try your best to stick to your diet. Try your best to not go crazy during the weekend. But if, if in, in any event that you do go crazy over the weekend, this is something that could really kind of help you balance back out pretty decently and get you back on track. So essentially, the only thing that it does is, is it causes you to have to work a little bit harder to kind of get your weight back on track and your cut and your fat loss. Guys, it worked well and perfectly for me. Um, I was able to hit that 255.8, woke up this morning, now I'm 253 uh, flat. And uh, today is Friday. So I'm back on track with my cut. You know, and I'm just gonna keep it going, keep it rocking, keep it rolling. So listen, if y'all got any more questions about this, comment below. If you're liking the video, like the video, man. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Hit that notifications bell, man. Y'all already know what it is, man. It's superhuman out here, man. Raw. We lions out here. You a superhuman lion. I need you to like, subscribe, and let's share and let people know that it's real, okay? We getting right. Also, if y'all got specific questions or y'all want me to do videos on these type of types of topics or on your question, just comment that below, man. I'd definitely love to do that video for y'all if I think it'll help out all the other superhumans, all right? Look, much love and respect, man. Salute.